Hello. So my name is Matthew, and I have been making some games and making some videos about them recently, uh, if you've seen this channel before. But I decided to end the year by sharing a bit of my story. And I actually forgot, <laughs> for the most part, how to write computer code about six months ago. And I wanted to share how that happened. I hear a lot about um, burnout and scope creep and those kind of things, but what I don't hear people talk a lot about is um, the effects of uh, plagiarism and self-doubt and what happens when you spend your time on Stack Overflow instead of spending your time thinking through problems. Um, so I wanted to just tell that story and uh, hopefully somebody else out there um, maybe is struggling with some of these things and this can help you too. Um, so this isn't just for games programmers, this is anyone who's programming, um, but I'm going to talk more about my experience in games. Um, but yeah, I've been a programmer for in some capacity for 10-ish years. Um, I've been doing firmware, uh, graduated college five years ago, or five and a half, and jumped straight into firmware career and have been doing that ever since. Um, but the story starts uh, with the first program I ever made was um, tic-tac-toe for the command line. And this comes back into the story later. But I made tic-tac-toe. And this was objectively a bad program by any modern standards. But I managed to make a single player tic-tac-toe with a computer that you'd play against. And I remember bringing my brother in and showing him the game. And I was so proud of it. And he went and played a round of tic-tac-toe, and he lost to my computer. And I was so, so happy with that. And of course, it was deterministic, and so he won every next round, because I didn't even know what randomness was, and I didn't know how to clear the terminal between plays, so you could scroll up and see everything that happened before. But it was the thing that got me, I think, into programming, was creating that and realizing that I can make things like this. It's so cool. So I have been making a lot of things after that. I did um, a bunch of games in high school. I went to college and learned to get into firmware and engineering and programmed robots and all sorts of stuff. And I uh, got here now. Um, about three years ago, I decided that I would start to make video games again. So I'm doing this as, I don't see a lot of people doing this, but I'm stepping out as a Christian developer. I have um, grew up loving um, C.S. Lewis and Tolkien and some of those fictional works in other art forms, and I have yet to see someone do that in the art form of video games. And I really have come to believe that there is a... Um, a need for someone to step out and do something like that. So I'm creating, I want to make a difference through games and I want to make games that make a difference. And I'm trying to do something that I don't see anyone else doing. I kind of set out to climb an impossible mountain and my first attempt was to go straight up the cliff face of I have a hard project I'm going to start on and very quickly realized that that was not going to happen in any reasonable number of years. <laughs> so I stopped and came up with a smaller game that I was less committed to, but I thought I could do in about three months. Um, two years, two prototypes later, I was still spinning my wheels and just struggling to get that done, and yeah, scope creep, burnout, all those things. Um, and then the 2020 hit. I probably don't need to explain why that year was hard. It was hard for a lot of people, but for me, 12 months ago, I was in a pretty rough spot, and I stopped all programming. Both at work, I was struggling to keep up with anything I was given, and at home, I completely stopped for a period of four or five months and didn't touch a program, even though every day I felt like I should and was beating myself up over it. And it was a hard season, but I came through the other side, and the sun came out and life got better, and yet the things I had taught myself to do during that time, I found were now holding me back when there wasn't a reason for me to be in a difficult place. I still was struggling, uh, and what had happened was I had started using a crutch, and even though I had healed and gotten better, I was continuing to hobble around on that crutch and was refusing to believe that I could run, and so I just continued to hobble around. Um, and that crutch for me was uh, other people's code that I could find online. Stack Overflow, tutorials, some of those things. I would go 
and I would look for a solution before I had thought about it. Um, I'm okay. I want to make a game that's kind of like Pac-Man. So I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm going to look up Pac-Man tutorial and I'm going to find a video and I'm going to scroll down to the sources for that video and find a GitHub page with a project and copy that project over. And then there we go. I just saved myself six months of work or so I thought I can start from this other person's project instead of starting from scratch. Um, and so like I said, with my games, I wasn't getting any work done, but at work, I would kind of do the same thing, and I would find a solution that's most way there, and then I would spend literally weeks trying to adapt it to the situation I was in, and trying to figure out how to get this other person's code to work in this system I'm designing. And these were the kind of problems that, given the code I had and the task I was trying to match, it should have taken 30 minutes to adapt it if I knew, if I knew what I was doing, and it was taking me weeks every time. Um, so I set out to go back to the first program ever made, or that I first program I remember, which was that tic-tac-toe game. Um, and so I made... Um, set out in, uh, in Unity, made a grid and some X's and O's, and then just stopped and stared at it for a very long time. Uh, I told myself I wouldn't go online and look at tutorials. I was like, I know I'm capable of doing this. But that was, to this day, one of the most difficult problems I've ever solved, was figuring out how to attach the board of a tic-tac-toe game to a computer backend. Um, and I, I wanted to make it uh, one player, like my original game had been, and I kind of gave up on that, and I managed to make a two-player game where everything worked and it could detect if you won or lost, um, and yeah, it something I think I can probably do in about an hour now, but I had just so taught myself to lean on this crutch of going to the internet and finding a solution somebody else had made that when I decided to, when I set that crutch aside, I found I was struggling to stand, struggling to walk. Um, and eventually I retrained myself. Um, I finished that little tic-tac-toe game and then I started doing some small game jams and um, bit by bit began to regain that confidence that I can write code for myself. I can do um, good things and I am capable of accomplishing these goals that I set out for myself. Um, and I don't want this to be a feel-good message. You can do anything you put your mind to. Like, I know there are limits. I've run into those. But I often find that I sell myself very short of what I'm actually capable of. And I think that I can only walk one mile when I can really walk three more. Um, and so I've been slowly climbing out of that pit that I got myself in. Um, but after I completed that project, I decided to go and do another project and then another one. And then I rebooted my uh, game I had been working on for the past two years and gave myself a month to rebuild it in a new game engine. I had done Unity twice. I switched to Godot and rebooted it in Godot and managed to get a working prototype. It's not a finished game. I don't know if I will finish it at this point, um, but it was it was a step in the right direction. Um, and so then after that, I decided that what I just needed was more practice. And I'm um, mediocre at making games, which is fine because that hasn't been my career path up to this point. Um, but I want to get good at making uh, good games quickly. I don't want to do in 10 years what someone else could do in one. So I went and started a game series called 20 Games in 30 Days. And if you look at any of my other videos, that's what they've been. Um, essentially, I'm picking 30 days out of a calendar, uh, non-consecutive. I thought I'd do it in about four months, and it's going to take about 12, um, because video editing is a lot harder than I thought it would be, uh, which is okay. But I yeah, learned to use OBS, learned to use Premiere, learned to make videos, and I've been making a game in 24 or 48 hours. And I've done five games so far. I have 15 to go. Um, it's a total of, I think I finished 10 games, or one was a tool, nine tools in a game this year, um, compared to half a game two years ago and three quarters of a game last year. So I'm really happy with what I've been able to do. Um, but yeah, it just... Um, it's funny to think that I could be ending another year having done nothing and feeling like I'm not capable of doing anything. And instead, I was able to catch myself and able to realize that 
I am capable of this, but I need to think for myself. Um, I'm going to keep going on this. I am finishing my next 15 games for this series. Um, I'm going to learn how to write shaders, and then I'm going to make 3D games, and um, going to work my way up, um, make my own sound effects, make my own music, do all these things that I know are difficult, but I'm looking off at this you know, impossible mountain, and I'm going, I can't climb that now, but I can climb the nearest foothill, and then I can climb the next nearest foothill. And if I st go step by step, I will get there. Um, and I have a plan, and I believe that uh, a year from now, I will be sharing my first finished game, um, not a uh, game that somebody else has made that I'm remaking. I made Asteroids and Space Invaders and Pogger, or Frogger and Pac-Man and um, all these, but uh, I think I can do it in a year. Um, well, in three months after doing my other thing for nine, anyways. Um, but yeah, so um, just wanted to share a bit of that. Um, there's my story. There's um, what I've struggled with in the past few years. And so, yeah, um, thank you for listening and Happy New Year. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to um, show off the next thing I'm doing. Um, I'll be back next week or the week after with my next video. Um, and I'll be continuing 20 games in 30 days for the foreseeable future. And yeah, uh, thank you for joining me on this adventure.